My next guest has faced a backlash this week in a case of mistaken identity. Jo Malone famously created her own perfume brand, Jo Malone London, back in the 1980s. 20 years ago, though, she sold the company. She's no longer involved with them in any way. However, the brand Jo Malone London made headlines this week after replacing black actor John Boyega in their advertising campaign for the market in China. They actually used a Chinese actor instead. And as you can see, it's almost shot for shot. Well, John resigned in protest and the company issued an apology. But sadly, that hasn't stopped Jo Malone, the woman herself, from coming under fire from people who are confused between the brand and the person. Well, Jo joins us now. And, and Jo, this has been so upsetting for you. How are you doing? Um, well, firstly, I... I'm so horrified and disgusted what has been done to John. And that, you know, that's why I'm sitting here. Because if people like me never speak out, things will never change. Things will never be any different. And people will continue to go through these things. Um, but from a personal level, it is, I feel heartbroken by this. And I feel I don't know where to turn. This isn't just in my city and in my country. This, is, this has gone global. My name has been associated and it's been done in my name, but also people think it's me. And Lorraine, you know me, you've known me a long time. There is nothing in this, nothing that resembles me. There's nothing, my spirit, nothing. And, and if I had been standing there in those shoes, I promise you, John, this would never have happened. No, it wouldn't have happened under your watch. But the thing is, you don't have anything to do with that company anymore. And this is something that happens a lot, isn't it, Joe? It happens especially in things like the world of fashion with designers. You know, the, 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 the name is bought and then it's a brand. And then that's where the confusion has, has arisen, isn't it? Well, I didn't sell my name, Lorraine. I sold a business. Yes. And people do that all the way across the world, thousands of times a day, and people sell them with their name. But when you sell your, this is a big lesson to everybody. When you sell your business with your name, there are, there are responsibilities. It's a bit like children. They're with you for life. So you both have a responsibility. And for 50, I left in 2000, I sold in 1999 and I stayed for five years, went through cancer treatment, came out a different person and left in 2006. I left, I exited, had nothing more to do with it. So 15 years, 15 years, I've had nothing and the brand that I started at that kitchen sink, there's none of my spirit and my personality. And today, I would say, has nothing to do with me at all, at all. Um, but people sell their businesses every single day. And I didn't sell my name. I didn't sell my life. I didn't sell my dreams and aspirations. And I didn't sell, I didn't fight for my life to sit here and live in this way. And I will fight. I've, I've fought many times in my life for my life. And I'm going to fight now it back and my reputation and everything that I believe in. Because you've had to deal with a really unfair backlash show and, and I know that that has, has hurt you so, so very much because your reputation, and I know, I know you, I know you, you know, you're a, you're a wonderful woman and, you, and you, you would, like I say, this would never have happened under your watch, but that's a really difficult thing to deal with because you feel powerless in a way. I feel, I feel totally alone, first of all, and um, I've reached out to no more than three people. I, I feel so humiliated. If we just look at John for a second, this man wasn't using his image to just promote something. He bought his creativity. His, and this makes me so emotional. He, when you look at that video and you look through his eye of being a child, that man bought his life story to, to people and to that brand. And how dare, how dare somebody treat him and he finds out he's been replaced on social media. That, that's the bit that really gets me, is the fact they never spoke to him. They never considered for one minute what, it must, it, what he would feel like. That for me is utterly despicable and is disgusting. Now, I know that apologies have been issued, but I'm sorry, this is someone's life. This is my life. This was his life. Don't sit behind a, a, an apology and not be, no one's being human about this. And you know what, Joe Malone London, Estee Lauder Corporation, this is your mess, clear it up. 
Well, do you know what, Joe? We did contact them, uh, ST Lauder, that is. We didn't get a response yet, but um, last night, the brand posted a long statement on Instagram, and part of that, I'll just, I'll just read it out for you. We deeply apologise for what on our end was a mistake in the local execution of a recent Joe Malone London, the brand, marketing campaign. They went on to state, we recognise that this was painful and that offence was caused. They do end up by saying, to clarify, Joe Malone left the company in 2006 and has had no involvement in these events. So they have said that, Joe. Does that make it any better for you? What do you think, Lorraine? Nine o'clock last night on Instagram, six days I've been left to deal with this mess that's theirs and try in some way to... And, and I have to thank... I have to thank your viewers, people on Twitter, people who have just got behind and said, you know what, Joe, we know the truth. And my only hope... But, of course, it's like a drop in the ocean. This has gone global around the world. What am I supposed to do? And we clarify. I, I'm sorry, I find that insulting. Mm. We clarify. No apology. No recognition that this was their mess and they need to clear up. Do you know what, Lorraine? On a human level, people make mistakes. I've made mistakes and I get that. Yeah. But when you make your mistake as a human being, you clear up your own mess. I raise my son. If you make a mistake, you put your hands up and you get on and you deal with it. That's how we grow. And if we are ever to see change in this country and in this world, people need to start taking responsibility. Stop running behind four walls and hiding and saying it's someone else's fault. And just, do you know what? There were, there were people in those meetings, because I know, I know those decisions would not have been taken by one person. They would have had to reshoot something. They would have needed the lighting. For talk. There, there was a lot of people involved. Now, I'd like to say down to the camera, if there is someone watching this and you were in that meeting, you know it was wrong. You had a responsibility to speak out. Mm. You have to, we have to start calling and saying, you know what, this is, have we thought about this? Have we, have we thought about this situation? And if you could say something to them, what would it be? Um, uh, well, do, do you know something there? I, I would use their own words for them. And, and if you wouldn't mind, I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of read it out so I get it exactly correct. Um, but their mission statement, part of their cultures and their values of their company as you walk through the door of the Estee Lauder Corporation, is bring the best to everyone we touch and being the best in everything we do. So what I would say to you is with your own words and your own culture and your own values, do what you say. Bring the best to this situation now and bring the best to everything you do and don't ever, ever let it happen again. Joe, I know how much this has hurt you. Um, I know you well. You're the, the kindest, most big-hearted woman. Um, you will get over this. I know it's been really, really tough, but I hope this morning we've cleared up the confusion between you, the person, and that brand. Thank you so very much for joining us. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for Thank allowing you. me to, to have this moment. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.